Hi Hello, Sheila. Craig. My the doctor suggested I speak with you. He thinks I'm depressed and that I have a problem with ice. Do you think you're depressed? I have so many worries I can hardly get up in the morning. I have strange fears that stop me from leaving the house to go to my course. I'm frightened I will fail it. And, do you agree with the doctor that ice is a problem for you? No, I do not. Ice is actually the only thing I've got going for me. It's the only thing that picks me up enough to get out of bed and then leave the house. But depression and anxiety are a problem? That's right. And ice fixes all that. Okay. I guess I may have missed something. If ice fixes the depression, then why are you here? Did the doctor misunderstand, do you think? It's not quite that simple. I can't afford the ice. So I came to the doctor to see if there is something else I could get to stop the depression. He said he can give me antidepressants, but they won't help much if I keep taking ice. What do you think of his suggestion about stopping ice? Are you kidding? Every time I stop I feel about a zillion times worse. Could you give me some idea of how often you are using ice? As often as I can, but not enough to stop the depression and the weird thoughts. And not enough to get my mother off my back. She wants to kick me out. That's adding to my depression. So, are you using a few times a week? Less, more? I'm spending all my money. I'm borrowing from mum. I use two or three days a week, sometimes more if I can. That sounds quite difficult. I can understand that you're upset and want to find some other way to deal with your depression. Could I ask just one other question about the way you take ice? Go ahead. Well, do you smoke it, or inject it or? I smoke it. Sometimes I just drop it, if that's more convenient. Dropping it is less addictive than smoking it but it carries its own dangers. We might talk about that in the future. There are other ways of taking it that you may not know of either. A good place to find out more from other users safely is bluebelly.com. Do you understand how ice works and why the doctor might think it is linked to your depression? Tell me. Dopamine is a major feature of the reward system our brain uses to help us choose and carry out activities. Ice use first increases the availability of dopamine in the brain. Dot. Making just about anything we are doing exciting and pleasurable on every level, perceptual and physical. That's me. That's exactly how I feel when I take ice. Graceful, intelligent, wonderful. Before long, however, the brain reacts to this novel situation and tries to regulate dopamine down to normal levels. If we keep taking ATS, the brain may stop producing any dopamine. And If we increase our intake of ATS to compensate for this, we risk toxicity which leads to confusion, brain injury, heart, renal and muscle damage and makes us feel terrible. That only happens to me when I stop taking it. So, would you say that you see your main problem as being not able to afford to pay for your methamphetamines? Yes. That's right. And that's what's making me depressed. Maybe we could work together to find other ways of helping your depression? That way perhaps you wouldn't need so much ice, and could save money. Well. That sounds okay. How do we start? Well, we'd look, for instance at helping you deal with things you're having difficulty with. Excuse me, but I have to move around a bit. I find staying still really hard. Sometimes I can't stop moving around. I get really anxious. It's embarrassing. Mum says that I'm also moody. She complains that I stay up all night and I lose my temper all the time. I might have been shy and a bit sad before I started ice, but I didn't lose my temper and smash furniture and yell and I used to sleep every night easily. I'm increasingly losing control. I'm not myself. I'm so lonely. I feel as if I'm going mad. I really want to stop losing, but I don't think I can. I'm going to flunk school. So, you're frightened that even if you try, you won't be able to stop using? Yes. I will even fail at that. Unless I can get help. But I'm afraid that I'm totally addicted. So, you want to stop using, but you want to keep on using and you're afraid you are addicted? Yes. So, that's an honest start. Would you like me to try to help you to work out how to cut down, then maybe think about stopping? 
Yes. I need help. I don't know why I said I didn't want to stop. Well, actually, I do know. When I came in all I could think of was how good it makes me feel, but, when I consider all the problems, and how much time I spent worrying about my mother kicking me out, failing at my course, avoiding paying my debts and lying awake all night, and my mood swings and my depression and my itching and scratching and twitching and hyperactivity, well... On balance it doesn't really seem like all that much fun to you then, does it? No. Not much fun at all. It's strange how my perspective changes, back and forth, like night and a day. That's ambivalence. We can work on that. Thanks. You have given me some hope. I will try to come back to see you. I will tell my mother. She will be pleased. I will look forward to working with you, Craig. Thanks again.